This video will show you how to get additional assessment data that may not be readily available on your homeroom dashboard. If you would like to pull student scores for an assessment, if the container is not built yet, or if it's an assessment that we don't have a container for, or you'd just like to dig into even more details about the assessment data, um, you can use the assessment launcher for that. If you're on your dashboard or anywhere else on Homeroom, on this gray column on the left, there's a section called Assessment Tests. If you click that and then come to Launch Assessment, it will open up to a window with these six boxes. The two pieces of this that I want to focus on and show you today are the Assessment Test Scores, which will just show you a color-coded list of all the students that you choose in a group and the scores they earned on a single assessment. The other one that I want to show you is the assessment subgroup comparison because it will let you set a student group and then choose a subgroup to compare them against to see how those two groups are doing in relation to each other on a certain test. So I've pulled already a couple examples, one for the assessment test scores. Um, when you click on any of these, they'll open up to a box like this where you'll pick the student group you want to see the scores for and then you'll tell find the exact assessment that you want. Once those two options are chosen, then you can click over here, it will turn available for you. You can click it to launch the view. So for the assessment test scores, I've already pulled one assessment for the SBA, or star math student growth percentiles for third graders at this school. And remember, this is all scrambled data, but student growth percentiles from star are something we don't include in the container right now. But if you wanna find that information, Quickly, you can do that by coming here, and when you come to the launcher, you would choose student growth percentile for STAR as the assessment. And then it will pop open to a window like this, where it has each student individually listed, showing their student growth percentile, and um, their actual score, whether or not they met standard on the assessment, things like that. And then also up here, it shows how many students, um, if you hover over these bars, how many students made low growth, typical growth or high growth in that student group you've chosen. The, for the assessment subgroup comparison, it looks a little bit different when you click in there. Actually, I have it pulled up. Um, I didn't click all the way through because I wanted to show you. You choose a student group, you choose the assessment that you want. So in this case, I've chosen um, uh, the SBA summative for grade four that was just taken this fall. And then I want to look at how students that have connections to the program of TBIP have done on that assessment um, from this student group. So over here it has you select, are you looking at them by program, or is your subgroup going to be a program, a race, a gender, a grade level, a school? You select that from here. And then once you've selected that option, another box pops, up, pops open where you can choose a more specific subgroup that you want to look at. Then you go ahead and click launch and it will pop open. We do have disaggregated data about subgroups on our dashboard container. However, the way that you can do it here in the subgroup comparison gets a lot more detailed. So if we're looking at students um, related to the TBIP program, you can see uh, one thing to note is the top bar that's kind of smaller and these percentages that it show, that's for the overall student population. So 61% of this fake student group that I'm looking at right now scored well below on the SBA for fourth grade. And then each bar underneath here, each row shows, okay, here's how the students who are currently in TBIP did. Here's students who are currently not, currently exited, had done. Here's one for anyone who's ever been on TBIP. Maybe they're currently enrolled or exited or has never been on TBIP. And then these are students who had been in TBIP but have now exited. So you can look at that in different ways and say, wow, look at this, these students who had been in TBIP, seven of them earned proficient on the SBA, which is more than the number of students who have never been uh, in TBIP. Earned, there were only six students who have never been in TBIP that earned proficient. Or there are 10 students well below grade level on the SBA who have exited TBIP, but there were 12 students who have never even been in TBIP who are well below grade level. So students who have exited TBIP are actually outperforming students who have never been in TBIP um, in those certain ways of looking at it. So it's pretty interesting to look at that in this example. And remember, this is all scrambled data. 
but those are a couple of ways to get at some more detailed information on Homeroom that's not necessarily available right on the dashboard you're looking at.